Hi everyone, welcome to the Cookie Couture. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button so you can learn more about cookie decorating and creative baking. Today I'm going to share with you a little bit about the story behind a Katrina. Also, I'm going to share with you a cookie inspired in a Katrina. Growing up in Mexico, it was very common that when you dress up a lot, they used to tell you, ooh, you look like a Katrina. Every time that they told me that, I always thought about the Katrine from the lottery, like this one. So let me tell you how this tradition started and you will find out a very interesting thing. If you know a little bit of Spanish, you may know that our words have a gender, feminine and masculine. And Katrina is the feminine word of Katrine. Katrina means a very elegant dress lady. very popular the Katrina during the Day of the Dead and also sometimes people like to dress up as a Katrina for Halloween. The Katrinas consider one of the more important symbols of the Day of the Dead celebrations around the world. The Day of the Dead celebration is a festivity that reunites our families to remember those who passed away, but it's also a time to reflect on our mortality in a funny way. Other important traditions are the All Saints festivals, the Altars for the Dead, the Sugar Skulls with your name on it, and the written Calaveras, that are where the Katrinas originated. The literary skulls or Calaveras literarias began in the 19th century. Calaveras are a satirical and burlesque verse compositions which used to be published in newspapers and other street literature at the beginning of the month of November. And at that time, most of them were accompanied with prints and drawings. And one of the most famous artists of this genre was Jose Guadalupe Posada. His most famous drawing was a drawing of a female skull adorned with a huge hat with ostrich feathers that represented some indigenous peoples or garbanceros that were ashamed of their indigenous background and pretended that they were European. Using this cartoon as a satiric symbol of what was happening in Mexico at that time before the revolution of 1910 where the social classes in Mexico were very divided and high class was strongly influenced by European culture. The skull drawing represented the high class of the era where many ladies used a lot of powder to cover their skin color and used a lot of tacky fogeals and elegant dresses. And to that drawing, Mr. Posadas named it the Calavera Garbancera. Later on, in the beginning of the 20th century, Mr. Diego Rivera, the famous painter and husband of Frida Kahlo, in one of his most famous artwork, painted a Calavera Garbancera to represent the high society of Mexico and named it La Catrina. So, Mr. Posadas invented the Calavera Garbancera drawing and Mr. Diego Rivera changed the name to La Catrina. That is what we know now. Okay, now let me show you how I did this cookie inspired in a modern day Katrina because she doesn't have a hat. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. Let me start it with this cookie.
Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you learned about what is a Katrina, the story behind it, who invented them, and also how I decorate this Katrina cookie. And if you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button. You can also follow me on my social media and don't forget that you need to be always very creative in all your baking and your cookie decorating. And see you until next time. Thank you guys. Bye bye.